Reiki healing with stones is easy when creating Reiki healing crystals. Reiki healing crystals are great. I'm going to make one and show you Reiki healing with stones. Reiki stones can be charged and pre-programmed to help you with your Reiki needs throughout the day. For example, if you are like me and have a job that requires a lot of walking or standing while carrying heavy stuff, your feet might hurt after a while. You can ease the pain with pre-programmed Reiki healing crystals, which you carry in your pocket. You can create a Reiki crystal fountain. The fountain helps to enhance the energy in a room. After you put it in a place where you think it should go to enhance the energy, you can also do a distance room cleansing using Reiki healing crystals. And you can do Reiki healing with stones all day long if you need. By pre-charging the crystal, and carrying it with you the whole time to help you with chronic aches and pains. Trapped or stagnant energy in the body causes blockages and may cause illness. The stuck energy might have been created through physical injury or emotional pain. Like other forms of energy medicine, the point is to dissolve the blocks to get the energy flowing again. Introducing Reiki healing with stones in the form of Reiki crystals might be the answer in some cases for getting the energy flowing again. When the energy flows better around the body, this can enable relaxation, reduce pain, speed healing, and reduce other symptoms of illness. So Reiki healing crystals promote deep relaxation. When stress is dissolved, the body's natural healing process is activated, and you develop emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. Reiki can be intensely relaxing, so if you plan to do Reiki healing with stones, please make sure you are not doing something dangerous like driving or hiking when the activation of the stones is set to work. You need to experiment to see if it will work for you. You don't want to fall asleep at the wheel or something like that. If you do feel like the Reiki energy is too intense and you are in danger of falling asleep, stop and put the Reiki healing crystal far away from you in a safe spot. It is best to use the Reiki stones in controllable environments. Get a quartz crystal. I choose my crystals carefully before I buy them. I activate the Reiki channel and hold my hands above the crystals in the store. When I feel the energy being drawn out of my palm, I pick up the crystal directly under my hand. I've connected to it and now I will buy it. I take it home and I clean the crystal with warm water and put it in the sun for a while. Now I activate the Reiki energy. Then I take the crystal in my hand, close my eyes, tune in, and ask for permission to work with it by giving gratitude. As I'm tuning in, I use all the three Reiki symbols. The power symbol helps to charge the crystal. The mental emotional symbol is programmed to release blockages on the fly. And I use the long distance symbol to program the crystal to send energy to a certain time and area of my body if needed. I also use affirmations to help program the symbols. Then I let the Reiki energy flow into the crystal in my hands for up to 20 minutes and seal it with the power symbol again. I finish the session with gratitude. Then I place the crystal in my pocket and carry it with me. Or I find a place where I want to create my crystal energy center. After the crystal energy center has done its job, I can rearrange and reprogram it for later. If you want to learn more advanced ways of Reiki healing with stones by creating Reiki healing crystals, then take Lena and Daniela's Reiki 2 course.